Okay guys, down here at Grassy Mountain Motorsports. Today, hope everybody's doing good. We got a 2013 Suzuki GSXR 600 and we're actually going to uh, take the fuel pump apart. Um, so we put a fuel pump in it and I'm just not getting a pressure that I want out of the pump. We also put a, a new filter in it, a little pressure regulator, you know. Um, so we're going to tear it back apart, and I want to see if there's any uh, NES trash that it picked up. We did wash the tank out. It did go back with a full tank and rolled around a little bit, but it just ain't doing the response that we want. So um, let's tear this apart. So I went ahead and broke some screws loose. Sometimes these Phillips screws here and here, they don't want to um, break loose. Uh, you can get a, I got a pair of uh, uh, pliers that I use that actually helps out pretty good. These pliers right here work really good. Um, taking out the screws that don't want to go Phillips kind of rounds off even though you get the right size Phillips sometimes these screws are just pain in the butt but anyway see how that's got a little arch there and it fits perfectly on that little round head and you can just pop it loose you know you can do all of them this way that way you don't chance messing up the Phillips screw head and you can actually take it on apart be careful with the uh, float. You don't want to end up bending this and knocking this out of whack. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the screws loose here. If you usually take my pliers and I'll set the screws down in the pliers. <clears throat> nice little spot to put them in case you need somewhere to put them or you got a magnet bow. I like using my pan because it's easy to clean up. It's easy to keep the screws in the spot that you need to keep them in. I had a little bit of tension on it there. These here, uh, I'll just make sure you mark them. They got a tab right here. It's white. So just remember, you know, also there's a white tab here. So this goes here, the red to the red, and it goes there. Gently pull them off, unthread it. And they should just come off really easy. You have your ground that goes here, that goes right there. So that should just come off and set it over here separate. Now that we got that off and out of the way, See, and that goes there. Just kind of keeping in mind whichever thing, what goes where. Usually, they have a hard time popping loose. There you go. So you have an old ring here, set that to the side, and you should have an old ring in this, right there, set that to the side. Now usually what happens, believe it or not, there's a filter in this, and um, I did a pressure test and I wasn't getting what I wanted, and then I done a flow test and I was getting about 40 meters, about 40 to little under a 40 of uh, fuel in a cup. So I'm going to make sure they ain't no filter in here and uh, causing a, a, a problem. But since I got it loose, I want to go ahead and check fuel pump. 
Now these these fill pumps that I usually use is off of uh, all balls, so, you know that you can eat, get. And there's everybody else that got different brands, but whew, look at that. We washed that tank out too, guys. That just blows me, that just blows me away right there. That just goes to show you how much trash, even though you wash it out and you think you got it all out, the little bitty particles is what's what gets it. Yeah. picked up some trash that's for sure anyway this is the pump and see it's got its own little rubber oil ring right there it goes back on there like that little cap here and then you got another oil ring that goes here but I'll bench test this and we'll make sure that this pump still sounds good <laughs> And then see, so you got all that dirt in there. So, all right. So, give me a moment, and uh, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna clean out. You can see it, it's kind of dirty in there, like little black. And believe it or not, there's a filter right here. So, I'm gonna go clean that out, put it in, uh, and see what we can get out of it. Okay guys, I'm going to kind of bench test these. I'm going to show you what I got here. Flip on my power box. Okay, so this is the first one that, let's see, let's find the hot. There's my hot. Okay, here's the first pump. This is the pump that we took out the first time. As you can see that's junk now I did buy a pump offline it wasn't the one I wanted to get but it was pretty reasonable and uh, well I can say it didn't really turn out to be what I thought it would be so this one here it's okay here we go can't hardly see my plus there it is okay there's my plus this one don't squeal but if you listen that one totally froze up <clears throat> totally and if you run it backwards it is reverse polarity see it won't even do nothing So that's another junk one. This one I got from All Balls. Uh, they're pretty good. I actually been buying stuff from them for a while. Um, so they actually good. And it feels like it's got torque and it sounds good. Let's see, is that my ground? Yeah, that's my ground. That sounds really good. And you see it's getting out of gas from where it was up in there. So, like I said, always bench test these pumps. Sometimes, you know, they might seem just a little off on the... And sometimes they might be locked up. Barons wore out. But, alright, so we're going to go step two now. All right, so I'm back over here at the bench. Um, okay, so like I said, we done a test. It did sound pretty good. Just because you uh, do a a test on these, it also don't mean that it's got it's putting out the right amount of pressure. They might run, but they still might not put the right of pressure that the bike usually needs. 
go to your service manual, get online, find a form, see what the PSI is on the pump. But in this case, um, like I said, I didn't get the pressure that I wanted. So I went back in it. Always double check your work, you know, and there's a filter in here. So I'm hoping I can use the um, vibrations to clean this out, They're Sonic. So, um, so that's that's what we're gonna do. Let's try see if we can get this clean. Okay, so we're back. All right, so I got this all cleaned out. There's actually a screen up in here. So now we're gonna reassemble. Ring goes back on there. white more to the white more now it's time to put the fuel pump gauge back on fuel gauge screws back in here What I like doing is I kind of pushing down on it and then I'll just snug the screws up. Once I snug them up, I'll go back, make sure they're tight. So we clean the uh, filter inside this house and usually you don't have to buy one but if you got um, a cleaner that you can clean it with blow it out or a sonic cleaner so far that's it everything else looks good 
And there you go. And that's how you do a fuel pump.